Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator. And in this video I'm going to uh, draw and sketch some sharks, some stingrays and some other uh, fish. And I got a chance to go to um, Legoland, California, because I was visiting some friends at San Diego. And we went to uh, Legoland, which was a great experience because I've never been to uh, Legoland before. We have one here in Europe, but it was great to see um, all the cities they have built out of Lego bricks. They also have a, a nice sea aquarium at Legoland, California. And I took some uh, videos there and if you want to see uh, the reference video I used, just click on the eye. When you click on the eye, you go straight to that video. So you, so you can use the same video as I'm using. So I now have it here set up on my uh, iPad. And what I'm going to use is um, a Koinor Progresso. It's from uh, Koinor Hartmuth and it's a 4B and I'm just going to use this uh, uh, sketchbook. So I already did some sketches but I'm just going to explain how I sketch uh, animals and um, I didn't have the time to do the sketching in the sea aquarium because it's also very dark and was just too busy so I shot a lot of uh, footage and then you know the great thing about videos is that you can um, press pause and then you can sketch it and you can see animals in, in different perspectives or how they move uh, around. So I'm first going to start out with uh, the beginning. I'm just going to go through the footage and maybe I see something interesting and then just pause it. And um, I start out with uh, the jellyfish because they're very strange creatures and it's great uh, they had uh, a lid you know from above with different colors so you really could see how they move uh, around what i most of the time do when i sketch uh, is i use the the side of my uh, a pencil just to do a global sketch and then you can you know um, use some gradients while you're sketching so I'm first going to draw uh, the basic shape of the jellyfish and now when you use the point then you get a little bit too detailed and when I first sketch out a thing I first want to sketch the entire shape and after that I'm just going to do some details and just let the no structure of the paper, you know, then you get a, a nice grid. And jellyfish are very smooth. So it's also nice if you uh, use the side of your pencil, then you can make smooth gradients as well. On top it has, looks like eyes, but I don't think jellyfish have eyes. You know, and the nice thing when you use the side of your pencil is that you're sharpening it uh, while you're uh, sketching. So when you want to do some details, then your point is always uh, sharp. Maybe do another one. They're real alien-like. So first do the, the big shapes. This one's too big for the paper. But it's very interesting to study, you know, when you see them move around. And that's also great for, for animation. If you want to, you know, uh, do some animation of jellyfish or other uh, fishes, like uh, they also had uh, sharks in, 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 the, in the fish tank and you can walk through um, a tube and then you can see all the, the animals uh, or all the fishes swim 
above you. So you can also study him from underneath. So this is at uh, 1.43 that I'm sketching uh, this uh, jellyfish and you know you can also use the reference video because I'm just now watching the same video as you can do and you can also sketch from uh, from that. I'm just going to sketch the basic shape. So I'm now going to, well, they're different. And you can see them in different perspective because they keep swimming around. So I'm first going to draw the basic shape and fishes are uh, most of the time uh, flat, uh, but they still have some volume to them. And you know, when you sketch it with the side of your pencil, you know, you can um, already make some volume in your shapes. So this is the basic shape and then you can draw the other, you know, the fins and there's something on top of it as well. I'm now at 2.43 and that's a, quite an interesting fish. Just gonna do the basic shape first. Because this one has a lot of structure to it and a lot of details. But first I'm drawing the, the basic shape of the fish so you can um, also um, see if it fits to the paper. Just do the, the basic shape and it's a very interesting fish this one it looks a bit like a, a slug and this just uh, me studying you know to you know you can make mistakes doesn't really matter it's just uh, when you study, you you know want to look and try to capture it on paper. I'm just going to sketch this in lightly because it also has a lot of uh, details to the body. And here, this looks a bit like an eye, but I'm not sure if that is an eye. And you can also do a lot of stuff with with values and when I press really hard this is the darkest I can get with this pencil but you can also use um, a normal pencil to do that to do this or um, just the 4b is better because then you have uh, the the tones are a bit darker than uh, if you use an H1 or an H2 then the it's not very nice for, for doing quick sketches because it's more for uh, precise work when you do want to do some details and I'm just going to um, draw the basic shape of I think there are, there are fins. It's interesting to see that the, the signs on the body, they just follow. So there must be some connection to the signs on the body. And of course the, the pinnacles that come from the top. So it's very interesting to see that you know, it has a function somehow.
draw in some values. Right, this is a nice one of a shark, it's at 3.41. I'm just going to uh, do the basic shape first so to see if it fits in. On the paper, that's always you know good if if you uh, want to do uh, some sketching in. real life then you know you can because the, the the animals just keep moving around and then it's great practice you know to do the basic shapes first to get the pose of the character right or of the animal and then you can maybe later on uh, do some details and here's the fin on top It was very interesting to see them because I filmed a lot, but I always but I also uh, looked at um, how they move around and how streamlined their build. They're beautiful animals. They're of course kind of scary. You don't want to see them when you're in uh, the ocean. There's a nice shot of stingray. It's from behind. It's at four. 0.27 they're very streamlined there's the basic shape there's the middle and they're just like flying fish really and from underneath they're white and on top they're a little bit darker it just looks like a, a bit of a, a, a dome well, this is an interesting one this is at 4.33 then you can see it from above and very big wings and see here that the tail is much longer because the other one was broken up I think or it's a younger uh, stingray that you know the they're a bit smaller. Uh, here's one in the back at 4.43. Just gonna draw it here. They're very gracious, you know, how they swim around. Or they seem to be uh, flying. At 5.18 you have a nice close-up and you can uh, look underneath or at uh, the bottom of the stingray and there you can see his uh, keels and uh, also his mouth I think because in the end uh, there were uh, little stingrays I already uh, taped them it was a funny little uh, it's at the end of this uh, 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 the reference video I shot Here is a piece missing. That's interesting. This is at 6.45. Looks a bit like a, a stone. So I'm first establishing the uh, shape of the uh, and the volume of the fish. It had a little in the end a little fins that were you know moving around very fast. Here you can see it at 6.58, you can see it from front. 
this very bulging eyes which makes him uh, a little cute the mouth looks a bit like uh, Yoda from uh, Star Wars a very fat fish a bit bulgy and of course the lighting uh, does a lot for to uh, uh, establish the shape uh, and the volume of your uh, the things you're drawing I'm not going to uh, do a drawing of the baby stingray. This is at 8.33 and you can have a, a very nice view of the stingray underneath so you can see his face. So here's the basic shape. It's very interesting because you can see his eyes as well. Um, the eyes are up here. And it was just very funny to see because he just kept swimming around. And it just looked like he was smiling because I think this is his mouth. These are, I think, his nostrils. And here are his uh, keels, or whatever you call them. They're very symmetrical. Here you see uh, a little bit of the eye because it's more on the, the back of the character. I just go through my um, sketchbook because I already did some of the sketches and these are just the sketches I did uh, of this uh, reference uh, footage. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. In that way you won't miss a single video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles. And they have uh, very fluffy uh, horns and when they're uh, really, really young, it's still very fluffy.